one of the things that have been become more obvious to me in the in the path of looking to create village and trying to join a village, looking to join a village, it has been shown to me the necessity for healing. It was obvious to me in the many attempts, the many, many attempts of creating village that I started noticing things that were failing and what was failing. And at the beginning, I was able to blame it on others, to blame it on, on the other people, on the village, blame it on my parents, or blame it on the, on the government. And after encountering many, many, many other opportunities to create village and many other people, I encounter that there is a part where I am playing a role inside of the failure of what I'm, what I'm trying to do. The process of healing for me, it comes as a necessity before building village that I'm encountered with this reality that I cannot move any forward. I cannot move forward before I can heal certain parts of me, that I can heal emotions that are in my body and emotions that are in my experience that have not been completed. And this bringing the necessity, the deep necessity of methods of healing and how are we healing? How am I healing? How am I going to heal these wounds? What will happen if I don't heal them and I just try to continue building village and creating village? And I, I see that the same thing is going to continue happening. Something is not going to meet my expectations. I'm going to create resentment. That resentment is going to grow into unconscious behavior. And it's going to keep growing with time. And eventually, it will destroy all possibilities for creating intimacy with other villagers and creating a place of unfolding of my being, my true being, and the unfolding of other beings. So in the path of healing is facing those emotions that I've experienced in my past, facing those emotions that get triggered every time that I look to come to village and going into those emotions, going deep into those emotions, not running away from them anymore. And it will continue to happen if we don't do something consciously about this, if there is not a conscious action that is done towards healing our emotions, then the emotions are gonna take over when they get triggered and they will get triggered when we come into creating village and community. And if I don't do anything about it, if I don't inform myself, if I don't learn, if I don't want to change, then I can stay in that cycle of blaming it on the world. I blame this person, I blame this villager for what happened. And that's easy, that's easy. I blame, um, I do that enough times until nothing changes. And then I say, I can't be here anymore. 
nothing is happening. And I move on. I start over in a new place. And I find new people that they don't know anything about me. And I start over again there. And the same thing will happen. Expectations. I create assumptions about how things should be. Then these assumptions become expectations. And then these expectations, when I, I don't see them and where I'm, they're not taken care of or they're not acknowledged, they grow into resentment. And once there is one resentment, he, he has the capability of destroying all intimacy between one being and another and destroying intimacy in a village. He stops being that place for beings to unfold, for life to unfold naturally. And that cycle, it can be repeated over and over. We can go to Vietnam, we can go to, to Korea, we can go to Colombia, we can go to Mexico. And, and if this emotional healing process is not faced, is not faced with your intention, the same pattern is gonna be found. And we're gonna continue finding that this pattern repeats everywhere we walk, where we go. So in the process of healing our emotions, it comes this facing of our emotions and going deep into them. To me, this is a necessity before coming into villaging that we go and face our emotions and heal our emotions. What is our emotions? Our emotions are feelings that get stuck in our body. It's something that happened in the past, an experience that we had in the past that created a trauma that created a, an impact in our emotional body. We made a decision. We made a decision in that moment of how to protect ourselves, how, to, how we were gonna survive that traumatic experience. And it protected us, we survived. We, it helped us to get all the way here that emotion and that survival strategy that we created in that traumatic experience, he has protected us and he has carried us all the way here. And if we don't face it, and if we just continue using the same strategy to, to live our life, we are going to continue looking for those pieces that sustain that a strategy and in the same process that emotion never having that capacity to evolve but staying stagnant staying close i created the that wall and that wall is going to come out anytime somebody challenges me and the wall comes up and that becomes the survival strategy that i apply in any situation when I get challenged or in any situation when I get triggered. So this emotional healing process is essential for creating village and for going into village. It's essential to learn the distinction between having an emotion, being in an emotion and having a feeling. The, the distinction between emotion and feeling is essential for creating village. And the distinction of this, the distinction between is essential to have the distinction between an emotion and a feeling. This 
with the context of healing or emotions. And the distinction between an emotion and a feeling is this. An emotion is, is one of the four. Is there is four core emotions. There is anger, there is joy, there is fear, and there is sadness. Anger, joy, fear, and sadness. Anger, joy, fear, and sadness. These are the four core emotions that we can experience and that we can feel. And from the combination of these emotions come all the different emotions like blame, shame, judgment, jealousy, envy. And in creating that distinction that there is those four core emotions, a whole world opens up in our emotional body and a whole world opens up in terms of distinguishing for ourselves what is happening in this moment. Am I having an emotion? Is this an emotion what I'm feeling? Or is this a feeling? And the difference from an emotional and a feeling is that a feeling, it only lasts up to three minutes. A feeling comes and it's also one of the force. It's also either anger, joy, fear, or sadness. And it comes and it, it only stays in our body, in our, in our experience for three minutes. And then after we use it, after we get the information that it, it has for us, it moves on. This is cutting edge research for next culture. These distinctions come from the team of possibility management and they have become a tool for me and for many others to tell and to, to smell, to tell what is happening in my experience. When we, when I, when I started doing this work, I didn't know where it was gonna go and I was very excited about it. And the distinctions that it created in my body were powerful and impactful and it allowed me to understand more and more how these four emotions are fuel for my life and they are resources that I can source to create my life and to create the world around me. Through these distinctions, I'm able to see when I'm going through an emotion and I'm going through a feeling. And from seeing this, I can see if I am relieving an experience from my past, am I relieving an experience from my past? In that mean, am I having an emotional reaction? Is this something that happened in my past that is, seems to be happening again and I'm triggered by it and my survival strategy, is it coming up? Or am I having a feeling? Is this a feeling that is coming now and is passing and it will, it's giving me some information? And the information that I'm receiving now is from my fear and the fear of being judged and the fear of not having enough time, the fear of being too late, the fear of going back into my survival strategy, 
and the characteristic of my survival strategy and many other people's survival strategy is that I go into a place of defensiveness. I close myself. I close. Uh, I close, and I, I stop the connection. My being stops being in an expansive, in an expansive way, in a way that is expanding, and continuously expanding and breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, and growing in this rhythm, and it becomes this con constricted thing that is locked, and is defending itself. Is not open to the outside world anymore. It's crystallized, it's blocked. And this is the distinction inside of, of the body. When I am in an emotional reaction, in, in, in comparison with being in a feeling, being experiencing a feeling. So these distinctions are there for supporting our journey of healing and of coming into village that when we are in circle, when we are interacting with each other, it's useful for us to have that distinction. Are you, are you having an emotional reaction right now? Is this emotional? Is this an emotion or a feeling? You can say, or I can say, I, I feel, I feel angry that you put the shoes in front of the door when I needed to walk there, and then I, I tripped. And there's the the question can, that can open up this distinction is: is this an emotion, or is this a feeling? It's a feeling. Okay. I, I, is, I used that information, I, I used it, I received it, I used it. I received that information from my anger, I used it. Perhaps there is more to be negotiated there, such as, can we agree that, can we agree that you won't let, put your shoes in front of the door the next time and put them on the side in a place where it doesn't uh, get in the way? and the negotiation can start from there. Yes, I can do that, or no, I, I like to live in there, however it goes. But it's uh, taking responsibility for that feeling. I got the feeling of anger. I, I assume that, that, that you will know that actually there was no assumption. I saw, I noticed that you put your shoes in there. I didn't want the shoes in the front of the, the, the door. And I approach, hey. And in comparison with this, uh, an emotion, it's a uh, we're emotionally triggered, and it comes out in in different forms. The anger can come out, can come out in explosive ways, or in implosive ways. So an, an explosive way will be like I explode all my problems of all my life and all of my my emotional accumulation on that person because they left their shoes right in front of the door. And, and it becomes a, a really huge deal, an explosion that creates hurt and it creates pain and it creates more uh, resentment. And the other way that it can happen is implosive, that I, I, I receive that anger, I get angry because I tripped on these shoes, somebody left the shoes on the entrance and I get angry and I don't do anything about it. I just like swallow it and keep it down. And, and this process starts like, creating an implosion inside of the self, inside of the being. And they are both uh, emotional reactions to, to something that is happening in the present. And that is something that is not connected to, to that thing, that, that simple thing of leaving the shoes in front of the door, but that is connected to something that happened in the past. That, that person also left the kitchen messy uh, a few nights ago, and that they also didn't didn't do something that I, I wanted them to do a few days ago. 
and it becomes this uh, accumulated um, ball of feelings that, that keep growing because uh, they get they don't get expressed. So the emotional healing process is seeing, uh, like acknowledging that uh, in a radically responsible culture, the person that left the shoes in there will ask, is this an emotion or is this a feeling? Or even the, the, the person that is feeling the, the feelings. Is this an emotion or is this a feeling? And if I, if I recognize it as an emotion because it has stayed there for more than three minutes, let's say that it happened and at three minutes pass and the, the emotion of anger was still there and then 10 minutes pass and it was still there. Like I just couldn't get it out of my head and it was getting bigger and bigger. This was a, an emotional reaction. A, a typical case of an emotional reaction and what I will do uh, is I, I'll write it down what happened in, in my book and I will ask somebody in my team if they can hold space for an emotional healing process for healing my emotions of anger and around around irresponsible behavior or around no not knowing not knowing how to express my boundaries or not knowing I, I don't know how to express my boundaries in a way that it doesn't hurt others right? it will be an emotional healing process in that way and and I, I will arrange with with my team or my villagers the villagers my people if they can hold space for me for this emotional healing process and this is another key part of next culture teams and next culture villaging is that at any moment, anybody can ask anybody else in the team if they can hold space for an emotional healing process. These emotional healing processes are key for our villaging. They are, what are going to facilitate the intimacy between each other and they are the emotional healing process is what allows that continuing of expansion of the being where it doesn't become this anger accumulated anger doesn't become an implosive thing that i that the being keeps accumulating and accumulating not letting it out and then it comes out in, in explosive ways and in destructive ways uh, but that it, it, it gets used, it gets used for creating more intimacy, for holding space and for being like for, for sharing, where did that come from? What happened to you when, uh, when you were younger that, that it stopped you from sharing how you feel or it stopped you from, from being angry? What, what happened in the past for you that made it not okay for you to feel your anger? And this is the distinction that I want to bring in for next culture and for our villaging that we are about to come into more realness and into the creation of the, of the villaging. We are ready. We are coming here with the, the people are emerging. The culture is emerging. It's naturally emerging inside of our hearts. There is something bursting that wants to create and wants to continue creating with others and this is our our way and this is the way that i have been learning for myself how that is possible and and there is still so much to learn and there is still so much to to discover and so much that is opening up and many possibilities that are opening up and and I don't want to sound like a salesman because this is not something that I'm selling this is not something that is going to make uh, our life more pretty or more easier in real in this coming into healing is facing the realities of the self 
That is the, the pain that, that we feel inside, the feelings, the real raw, raw feelings that are inside of us. And these are powerful. And when we are in our survival strategy stage or when we are in survival mode, this, this is blocked. There is no, no possibility for, for feeling our feelings, but there is a, a block. So I invite you, this is an invitation for exploring more what emotional healing process look like and for you to ask for that space that you need for you to keep track of your emotions if you're in an emotion or if you're in a feeling and to ask for that space when you need it to your teammates thank you for watching